Hi friends, today I am going to discuss the basic definitions of the electronics. First, what is rectifier? A rectifier is an electrical device that converts alternating current to direct current which flows in only one direction. Second definition, inverter. An inverter is an apparatus or equipment which converts direct current into alternating current. Third definition, what is IC? Integrated circuits. An integrated circuit is a semiconductor wafer on which thousands or millions of tiny resistors, capacitors and the transistors are fabricated. It can work as an amplifier, oscillators, timer, counter, computer memory or microprocessor. Next definition diode. A diode is a, a diode is a device as two element electron tube or a semiconductor through which current can flow freely only in one direction. Means this is direction of current where the equation for the diode is I is equal to Is exponential of E V by K V T minus of 1 where I S is the reverse saturation current, E is the charge of electron, K V is the Boltzmann constant, T is the temperature and N is the emission coefficient. Next definition, what is barrier voltage? The transport electrons from N side of the junction to holes annihilated on the P side of the junction produces a barrier voltage. This is 0.6 to 0.7 voltage in silicon and varies with the other semiconductors. A forward biased pin junction conducts a current once the barrier voltage is overcome. Next definition, what is avalanche effect? A sudden current, a sudden increase in the flow of an electrical current through a non-conducting or semi-conducting solid when a sufficiently strong force is applied. Next, what is amplifier? An electronic device for increasing the amplitude of electrical signals used chiefly in sound reproduction. Next, what is op-amp? An operational amplifier is a device that is used to amplify a signal using an external power source. It is mainly composed of transistor, resistors and capacitors. This is op-amp, V plus, V minus, Vs negative, voltage negative minus, this is auto voltage, where V minus is equal to inverting input, V plus is equal to positive power supply, Vs minus V negative power supply. V plus is equal to non-inverting input where V output is equal to K V plus minus V of minus. Next, what is open loop gain? Open loop gain is the gain of op-amp without a positive or negative feedback. An ideal op-amp should have an infinite open loop gain but typically it range between 20,000 and 2 lakhs. Next, input impedance. It is the ratio of the input voltage to input current. It should be infinite without any leakage of current from the supply to the inputs, but there will be a few picoampere current leakage in most op amps. What is output impedance? The ideal op-amp should have zero output impedance without any internal resistance so that it can supply full current to the load connected to the output. Next one, what is bandwidth? The ideal op-amp should have an infinite frequency response so that it can amplify any frequency from DC signal to the highest AC frequencies. But most of the op-amp should most of the op-amp have limited bandwidth. 
what is offset the output of the op amp should be zero when the voltage difference between the input is zero but in most op amps the output will not be zero when the offset when the off but there will be a minute voltage from it this is the basic diagram of the op amp op amp has eight pins one two three four five six seven eight eight pins have the name i already have written here you can see here pin one offset null pin two inverting input pin three non inverting input pin four ground negative supply pin five offset null pin six output pin seven positive supply pin eight stop next what is ripple factor it can be mathematically defined as the ratio of rms value of ac component of the output voltage to the dc component of the output voltage that is rf is equal to rms value of the ac component of the outer voltage to the dc component of the output voltage the ripple factor is also defined as the ratio of ripple voltage to the dc voltage that is rf is equal to ratio of the ripple voltage to the dc voltage even factor is also given as gamma is equal to root under of v rms by vdc of a square minus 1 that is given 1.1 to one that is the constant value this is for dc current the dc current is given by id is equal to i max by pi where i max is equal to maximum dc load current next output dc voltage that is vd is equal to id into rl that is vd is equal to v max by pi where v s max is equal to maximum secondary voltage next one peak inverse voltage it is the maximum reverse bias voltage up to which a diode can withstand that is piv is equal to vs of max next one root mean square value of the load current that is rms that is the root mean square value of the load resist load current in a half wave rectifier is i rms is equal to im by 2 or vrms is equal to i rms into rl IRMS value IM by 2 into RL. Next one, what is form factor? It is defined as the ratio of RMS value of the DC value. That is form factor is equal to RMS by DC value. That is 1.57. That is constant value. transistors this is the definition of transistor it is a semiconductor div active bipolar device and useful as switch amplifier and oscillators it is a bipolar device as the conduction takes place by the two charge carriers namely electrons and holes